Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. A very simple question is causing all sorts of arguments on the internet. What is half of 2 plus 2? The answer depends on how you read the words. What was your first instinct? I read the question as follows. I looked at half of 2 and translated that into 1 half multiplied by 2. I then read plus 2, which would be adding 2 in this expression. So how do we evaluate this expression? You have to use the order of operations, so multiplication takes precedence. 1 half multiplied by 2 is equal to 1. Then 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. But not everyone has this interpretation of the question. Some people translate the question as follows. They translate half into one half, and then they say this is half of dot 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 two plus two. So we need to multiply this by the quantity two plus two. We need to add two and two together first. That's a grouping. That will be equal to four. And then one half of four is definitely equal to two. So we have two potential answers to this question. You could read half of 2 plus 2 as 3, or you could read it as being equal to 2. So what's the correct answer? I scoured the web for the first possible mention of this exact puzzle, and I came up with an answer in Google Books. It comes from the surprise book, 77 Stupendously Silly Practical Jokes You Can Play on Your Friends. This book was published in 1981, and it seems to be out of print, but I was able to find a reference in Google Books. This exact question appears in the book. Does half of 2 plus 2 equal 2 or 3? And the answer given is that you can use either answer. It says that both answers of 3 and 2 are acceptable. So if you try to identify the source of this puzzle, the original source says that both answers are equally valid. But if you know of an earlier reference to this puzzle, please do let me know. I would be curious to know what answer they provide. But now I want to approach the question in a slightly different fashion. Imagine we have a mathematical expression and we want to translate that into a sentence. So let's take the expression 1 half multiplied by 2 and then we have a plus symbol and we have 2. So how would we translate this mathematical expression into words? So first I would look at 1 half multiplied by 2, and I could say half of 2. Then I would say plus 2. So one way to translate this expression into a sentence would be to say half of 2 plus 2. Now looking at this sentence, you might add a comma, so you have half of 2 comma plus 2. These would both be ways that I would write this expression into a sentence. The second one would be clear because you know you're taking half of two first, but many people would translate this expression into the first sentence. Now let's take a look at the expression, one half, and then we have a multiplication symbol, and we have parentheses two plus two. How would you translate that into English? Well, we have one half, and then we have a group sum of 2 and 2. So I personally would translate this expression into the sentence half of the sum of 2 and 2. Someone else might translate it into the sentence half of the quantity 2 plus 2, or it could be half of the group 2 plus 2. Would any of you write half of 2 plus 2 if this was the expression? I would say probably not. This would be a discouraged practice because it doesn't indicate that you're taking the sum of 2 and 2 first, and then you're taking half of that. So I would suggest that no one is translating the second sentence into the sentence half of 2 plus 2. So from my perspective, what is half of 2 plus 2 more accurately would correspond to the first expression. I don't think anyone could reasonably translate the second sentence into the sentence 
half of 2 plus 2. So I would say the first expression is more literally correct, and I would say 3 is the correct answer. My perspective was backed up by online calculators. If you type in half of 2 plus 2 into Google, it will interpret taking half of 2 first, which will be 1, and then adding 2 to get to the result of 3. Wolfram Alpha translate the sentence in exactly the same way, giving the answer of 3. I did a poll and 48,000 of you replied, what is half of 2 plus 2? And I forced you to give an answer of 2 or 3. And 74% of people felt the answer was 3. So an overwhelming majority of people do think the answer is 3. Now I want to close the video by briefly addressing a common objection. Some people will say, mathematicians only use clear, unambiguous language. This is not a math problem at all. How dare you cover this stupid type of viral question? This is certainly one perspective, and this is certainly how some people think about this. But this is not my experience of going through mathematics as I studied through Stanford University. Let me just give you an example of the type of ambiguity I would see. Here's a post on Math Stack Exchange, which is a community of mathematicians. Someone asked, what does linearity mean? Well, we are often taught the following definition of linearity. A function is linear if it obeys the following two conditions, if f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus f of y, and f of a multiplied by x is equal to a multiplied by f of x. But there are all sorts of contexts in which linearity is used. You have linear equations, linear differential equations, linear algebra, linear programming, linear interpolation, and so on. And if you strictly use this definition of linearity, then the straight line y is equal to mx plus n cannot even be considered linear unless n is equal to zero. So there are so many different ways that mathematicians use the word linearity. So what does linearity actually mean? And the accepted answer says that the definition of linearity depends on context. So this whole notion that mathematicians always define terms and never do things in context is a completely false narrative. We all interpret things in context, even mathematicians. I am reminded of a famous quote that is attributed to Charles Darwin. A mathematician is a blind man in a dark room looking for a black cat that isn't there. What does this even mean? Google Gemini summarizes it as a quote that's attributed to Charles Darwin, though its exact origin is unclear and may not even be directly from him. But the quote is used to describe the perceived disconnect between abstract mathematical reasoning and the concrete reality of the physical world. So in this abstract world, half of two plus two could have multiple meanings. But I think in the practical world, most people will think about it as being one half multiplied by two plus two, which would be equal to three. But I'm certainly curious of your perspective. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.